वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह सो वी गोइंग टू टॉक टुडे अबाउट सेवंथ गुरु जी या सेवंथ गुरु जी गुरु हर राय जी सो टू स्टार्ट आवर स्टोरी लेट्स रिमेंबर ऑल द प्रीवियस गुरु जीज इन द सॉन्ग ओके लेट्स डू द सॉन्ग फर्स्ट रेडी ऑल द पीपल क्विकली सिट डाउन अंबा कम ऑन गर्ल्स सिट डाउन ओके लेट्स गेट रेडी फर्स्ट गुरु इज गुरु नानक देव जी Second Guru is Guru Angad Dev Ji. Third Guru is Guru Amar Das Ji. Fourth Guru is Guru Ram Das Ji. Fifth Guru is Guru Arjan Dev Ji. Sixth Guru is Guru Har Gobind Ji. Seventh Guru is Guru Har Rai Ji. Eighth Guru is Guru Har Krishan Ji. Ninth Guru is Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Tenth Guru is Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Eternal Guru is Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Eternal Guru is Guru Khalsa Pant Ji. Well done, guys. Sounds awesome. Okay, so seventh Guru Ji. Do you remember what's the action? What is the meaning of this action? Who can tell me? Let's hear somebody from reception. Hanji, what is it? The animals feel better, yeah. Taking care of animals, stroking an animal. Let's stroke an animal. Yeah. So we know about Guru Harai Ji. Let's find out how he became so caring and loving towards animals. So Guru Har Rai Ji, who was Guru Ji before Guru Har Rai Ji? Who was Guru Ji before Guru Har Rai Ji? Let's ask Hanji, who was it? Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, Har Gobind Sahib Ji. And who was Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji to Guru Har Rai Ji? Do you know? Was it his dad? No, it wasn't his dad. Guru Har Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji had six children. Six children. The eldest one was called Baba Gurditta. Can you say Baba Gurditta? Baba Gurditta. But we don't have Guruji who called Guru Gurditta. Yeah, we don't have it because Baba Gurditta Ji's son was Guru Har Rai. So Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji was a grandfather. Yeah, Dada Ji, Dada Ji, or some people say Baba Ji. Yeah, grandfather. He was grandfather of Guru Har Rai Ji. So he had six children. And do you know who was the youngest child of Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji? I tell you his name, and he was born. His name was Tiag Mal. Tiag Mal. It was he was going to become Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Can you believe it? Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji was also son of Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. Okay, so back to Guru Har Har Rai Ji. When Guru Har Rai Ji was Was little, he used to spend a lot of time with his grandfather. What was his grandfather's name? I just told you. Who was his grandfather? Um, Balraj. Who was his grandfather? Hanji. No, Baba Gurditta was his father. But who was Baba Gurditta's father? Hanji. Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. Well done. Yeah. So Guru Har Rai Ji spent a lot of time with his grandfather in the town called Kiratpur Sahib. So one day, Guru Har Rai Ji was riding a horse. Can you see the little horse is standing at the back? And then he was he came into the garden and he saw his grandfather Guru Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji meditating, doing part. And he he jumped off the horse and he ran towards his grandfather. But as he was running, his chola. Do you know what chola is? Yeah. Chola is like Nihang Singh's word chola. Is like a is like a type of kurta, but a bit longer and opens up a little bit like this. Like what is Guruji wearing there? It's chola. His chola caught on the flowers and pulled the flowers, and all the petals fell on the ground. And when Guru Haraji saw it, he got so he got so hurt. He goes, "I with my chola, I've hurt the flowers. I ruined them." And he cr came crying to his grandfather. He said, "Why are you crying?" He said, "I ruined the flowers. I don't want to wear this chola anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to wear this prince clothes. Don't want to wear them anymore." But Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji told him, "Don't worry. 
wear your clothes, but just take care. Every time you do something, pay attention. Make sure you don't hurt something. You don't hurt anything. Yeah? So, look at this picture. Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji is telling his grandchild, Guru Har Rai Ji, said, just keep it up. Hold your chola. Can you see he's holding his chola on the side? Yeah, he said, make sure when you walk, you just hold it up. It doesn't mean just only about your clothes. It's all about your life. When you walk, when you live your life, make sure you don't hurt anybody. Make sure you be kind to other people and other things, yeah, other beings. So from there, Guru Haraiji became very, very caring. He was taking care of plants and animals. We know that Guru Haraiji had even sanctuaries for animals. So if he would go out in his horse in the jungle and he would see an animal who was hurt, he would take it, bring it to his sanctuary. Sanctuary is like a safe place and give it medicines and take care of it. Yeah, like we do action like this, stroking. Yeah, take care of the animal. Maybe, maybe they would read part to the animals. That helps them as well. Even if you read part to the flowers, it helps flowers grow. So Guru Haraiji had loads of plants and he had gardens, beautiful, beautiful gardens. Sometimes people call Guru Haraiji eco-guru. Do you know what eco means? Eco is English word, ecology. Yes. Take care of environment. Do you know the word environment? Yeah, environment. Everything that's around us, the plants, the rivers, the air. Yeah, eco guru. Guru Haraiji wanted every city to have a beautiful garden. Can you see at the bottom picture? Yeah, they're planting a beautiful garden, putting, printing, uh, putting flowers. Also, at the top picture, what do you think that is in the top picture? When they're carrying a person, what do you think that could be? And you somebody from here too, can you tell me? Yes. Curing the person, yes, it's a, it's a hospital, had hospitals, and nobody had to pay for that, it was all free for everybody. Everybody was equal, everybody could come and have medicine. Hanji. Yeah, to the vets. So Guru Haraiji had, had clinics for, for animals. Okay, so this is the story, little story about Guru Haraiji. Let's finish off with the Mool Mantar. Nimrit, would you come and sing? Yeah. Let's do Mool Mantar with actions. Do you remember the actions? Let's do the actions. Ik. Om. Ka. Sat. Naam. Karta Purak Nirpo Nirvar Akal Murat Ajuni Ajuni Sepang Gurparsad Chap Ad Sacha Jugad such happy such a non be such when we do this are the such it's like we're surrounding ourselves with a circle Guruji's around us everywhere a protecting circle of big circle of protection around us and around all our family and all our friends and then we're sharing it with the rest of the world okay okay Khalsa Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh Kaur Sat Naam Karita Purek Nirpo Nirvair Akal Murat Ajuni Sepangur Parsa Chap Aad Sach Jugad such a happy such a nanik ho si be such again ekum ka ekum ka satna karita purik nirpo nirvair kale murte aju Sa 
such to God is such a happy such Nanik ho si be such Thank you. Okay guys, very very good. Let's put our hands together. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa Vaheguru ji ki fateh